You were created for wealth. You were created to live in wealth and abundance. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here, and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that gives thee something. What are you supposed to remember? The Lord your God, that it's he that gives you what? Power to get wealth. Is this in your Bible? Yes, it is. Are you supposed to remember the Lord your God and that it's he that gives thee power to get wealth? A lot of people don't know this. Now, this message is not for everyone. Some are going to be turned off by it as I get farther and farther into this. But being poor doesn't qualify you for anything. And just like being sick doesn't qualify you for anything. Doesn't qualify you for the promises of God just because you're sick. Doesn't qualify for you for the promises of God just because you're poor. Some religious people would think so. Having a need doesn't qualify you. Are there people with needs? Mm -hmm. yeah. One thing qualifies them, and that's having an ear that hears. Mm -hmm. When you have an ear that hears, you're qualified. And you can have the thing that's coming into your ear by the Spirit of God. Amen. Well, knowing the one who's doing the talking is of no small significance and the more that you can know him the holy ghost as the one who's talking say the one who's talking, one who's talking. you'll be more in tune to hear what the spirit the one who's talking is saying to you does this make sense yes. now you need to know some things about him and then you'll have some idea about the kind of things that he would say but so many people have such a, a distorted idea of who the Holy Ghost is, they can't hear mm -hmm. certain things. You suppose the Holy Ghost has some things to say that we haven't been able to hear? Mm -hmm. Listen, what the Spirit saith to you, what the Spirit is saying or what the Spirit saith to you is prosperity. He will never speak outside of prosperity. He can't. He is prosperity. He's the Spirit of the Lord everywhere he goes, everything he does. Is he going to speak sickness and disease to people? No. Never. He doesn't have those words. So you could say that whenever the Spirit of the Lord speaks, what saith he is healing, mm -hmm. right? Yep. But we're going down the prosperity trail today because what the spirit saith listen is prosperity in fact we just read that he gives you power to get wealth how does he do it by saying words he gives you power to get wealth, to get wealth. it's who he is we need to come to know the Spirit of the Lord as the one who gives power to get wealth now does that get you kicked out of a lot of churches mm -hmm. say the Spirit of the Lord, Spirit of the, Lord the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost gives, me gives me power, power to get, to get wealth. wealth who the Spirit of the Lord well he must have it then mm -hmm. right. if he's going to give it to you he must have power to get wealth or he can't give it to you are you saying that the Holy Ghost has power to get wealth? Mm -hmm. I'm not only saying that, I'm saying that He gives it to me. Say, He gives it, he gives it to, me. to me. 
this is how i know him i know him in this way that the holy ghost is giving me say is giving me, giving me. power to get wealth now if i know that about him do i know him better than maybe i did before yes. mm -hmm. he is a god of wealth he is a, he must be a god of wealth to give you power to get wealth i'm going to help you here tonight so you can hear something about the spirit of god in a way that maybe you haven't known him before a lot of people have never known him in this capacity in this way He says i want you to prosper more than you want to prosper you see it's his will oftentimes we have to get our will in line with his will it's him giving us power to get wealth we got to get in line with his will he wants us to prosper more than we want us to prosper and i can understand this i've been i've lived there for many years that certain things were just more valuable to me than worldly goods I don't need any. it sounds religious automatically to you doesn't it? I don't need any worldly goods and that's understandable because people are comfortable there you know what they're not comfortable with is knowing the God that gives them power to get wealth mm -hmm. you got to come up He wants you to prosper more than you want to prosper go to a uh, third John third John verse 2 beloved I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper the Holy Ghost's will is that you above all things say above all things, above all things. prosper is this his will was that what you were thinking his will was God the Holy Ghost's will for you is that you prosper above all things God the Holy Ghost's will for you is that you prosper above all things is this in his word it is. well he wrote it it's important to him that you prosper I would that you prosper above all things or above all things prosper he would <laughs> would you you got to get your line your will in line he will he would would you say i would i would we've treated it as a side issue when someone says above all things is it a side issue no. it must be important to that person mm -hmm. i'm telling you it's very 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 important to the holy ghost and we've treated it as a side issue which doesn't make him very happy our priority has been to die and go to heaven is that what he said i wish above all things that you die and go to heaven. it doesn't even make sense how about i wish above all things that you live a life in the earth mm -hmm. worthy of the holy ghost walking with the holy ghost fulfilling all the scripture fulfilling everything you're called to do and then when you're fully done with it you've wrung the earth out of all of its goodness then you can go mm -hmm. our god is a god of extravagant and excessive wealth you start worshiping him he'll begin to introduce some of these things to you that you've not known before our god the holy ghost is a god of extravagant and excessive wealth that's too much that's too much that's too much then he's too much we know to talk about heaven what's heaven like pretty shabby a lot of shacks the ground is made out of gold mm -hmm. talk to any evolutionary type scientist and they would say it is probably very likely that there are planets out there 
that are made of solid diamond how much is that worth who made it no one needs a planet made out of a diamond that's excessive we're talking about the Holy Ghost who is God who is of an extravagant and excessive wealth and then he creates things in his image mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth meaning all the heavens mm -hmm. all the stars everything who created it God and the Spirit of God or the Spirit God moved upon the face of the waters and God said let there be light and there was light mm -hmm. though we see here God creating things is the earth a thing mm -hmm. is it full of all good and precious things yes. I mean every jewel that's ever been mined came out of this earth mm -hmm. every ounce of gold or silver came out of this earth who created the gold and the silver God mm -hmm. and here it says the Spirit God let's look at verse 26 and God said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over over the fish of the sea over the fowl of the air over the cattle over all the earth he gave them dominion over all the earth is that worth something verse 28 and God blessed them now we need to know what a blessing is and what a curse is did God curse them no God put them in this world made of gold and silver and all kinds of other things let them have dominion over it and then he blessed them well we have a scripture proverbs 10 22 says the blessing of the lord it makes rich so god designed adam and eve man in his image mm -hmm. and he's a very wealthy god and then he put them in the earth and he blessed them they were made rich you were designed to be rich say I was, designed I was designed to be rich, to be rich. you weren't designed to be poor you were designed for wealth say I was designed, I was designed for, wealth, for wealth not for poverty wealth and prosperity is like heaven we would call that oh the perfect will of God that's wealth and prosperity wealth and prosperity is like heaven so wealth and prosperity is good and godly yes. say that wealth and prosperity, wealth and prosperity is, good is good and godly, and godly. poverty is evil poverty is a curse mm -hmm. the bible calls prosperity a blessing the Bible calls poverty a curse whose side are you gonna be on make up your mind pick a side mm -hmm. you're gonna be on the Bible side if you're gonna be on the Bible side God gives you power to get wealth mm -hmm. he blesses you the blessing of the Lord makes you rich and has no sorrow with it and he calls prosperity a blessing mm -hmm. and he calls poverty a curse Creditors calling you, is that a blessing or a curse? curse? What's it feel like if a creditor's calling you and you don't have money to pay him? That feels like a curse. Does it ever feel like a blessing? No, no unless you got a religious head. <laughs> and even then, you're just lying to yourself. Choosing between eating today or paying the electricity bill, blessing or a curse? curse. That's a curse. You shouldn't have to choose between eating and paying the bill. Mm -hmm. That's a curse. 
say curse, curse. Get, away from me. get away from me say blessing, blessing. Come, on me. come on me the blessing on you makes you rich rich means you can eat while having electricity on yeah. you get both say i get both, I get both. here's the fact you were created for wealth you were created to live in wealth and abundance say i was created, I was created to live in to live wealth, wealth and, abundance. and abundance that's how you can be you that's how you can thrive and be who god wants you to be that's why it's the first thing god did after he made them was bless them living god gives me richly all things to enjoy who does living god god the holy ghost is a god of wealth and this issue is very sensitive to him and frankly i think maybe you were the ones who made him very sensitive to it by treating him like he's some other kind of god like he's the god that brings poverty and trials it's not him that would annoy me i don't know about you but if i was a certain way this is my character and this is who i am and you talked about me in some other way at some point it's really going to rub me the wrong way and me a lot sooner than him we know he's very long suffering mm -hmm. and patient thank god mm -hmm. thank him mm -hmm. him being known as a wealthy god is a very sensitive issue to him and you should just learn this quick and get in agreement with him Amen. and let him bless you yes. daniel chapter 5 read it verse 1 belshazzar the king made a great feast to a thousand of his lords and drank wine before the thousand verse 4 and they praised the gods of gold and of silver so they're drinking out of these things right gold and silver vessels are drinking out of them and they were praising the gods of gold and silver <laughs> and in the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall and the king saw part of the hand that wrote i think we know the rest of the story but then he called for the astro you know his his magicians and those people who might know what this meant to read the writing on the wall say read, read. The, writing the writing on the wall how the writing get on the wall something irritated god enough to use his own hand and write on the wall they were praising the gods of gold and silver it made him mad who is the god of all gold and all silver yes. holy ghost yes. there is not a singular ounce of gold on this earth created by the devil if he has any it's because he stole it right. are you here yes. now I'm, I'm trying to give you some insight into the Holy Ghost go to Haggai chapter 2 verse 8 the silver is mine and the gold is mine saith the Lord of hosts is this in your Bible say the silver and the gold, and the gold. Is, his. is his and he's the one who can give it to you because it's his then he goes on here says verse 9 the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former saith the lord of hosts and you can see it would be prosperity because he just was talking about the silver and the gold being his mm -hmm. And if he's gonna have it come into this latter house he's going to be the one making it 
come into the latter house is this important mm -hmm. what day are you in the latter you are the latter house Amen. you must have wealth to fulfill what I have for you in this latter day can you see that so far from these scriptures yes. would you have fulfilled that verse of scripture if the silver and gold didn't come to you no so how about fulfilling this scripture this is where we're going well I don't want to go there I told you it's not as important to you as it is to him so you got to get over it it's important to him it's important to him he's a god of wealth he's living in you and you don't want anything to do with it you don't want anything to do with him then if you're a holy ghost worshiper you are going to go here mm -hmm. part of this power to get wealth is in the preaching and we've had a sad amount of preaching on it in fact in some circles no preaching on it mm -hmm. in fact preaching the opposite mm -hmm. but part of the power to get wealth is in the preaching he is God in the earth today and he is a God of wealth and if you get to know him one way you get to know him is by hearing the right preaching hearing and hearing by the Word of God concerning him being God in the earth today and being a God of wealth it's why you can't have good things your religious traditions have kept you in bondage so many people have knee-jerk reactions over a message like this because they don't want to know that God the living God God who created heaven and earth is a God of wealth a God of present-day wealth he does it today he gives you power to get wealth the blessing of him makes you rich above all things he wants you to prosper mm -hmm. it's big to him mm -hmm. and if you're in religious bondage concerning this then you just haven't heard enough yet you need to keep listening keep listening keep listening until your ears open and you can begin to see who he really is because he's great he's wonderful he's a lot bigger than you are mm -hmm. is his wealth greater than yours yes. proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 the blessing of the lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it yeah. so it's his blessing that's making you something mm -hmm. and adding no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today knowing him and knowing that it's his blessing making you something mm -hmm. is of enormous value we know him his blessing it's a blessing to know him in that way mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know him that way say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is, making is making me rich you're knowing him now in a way that you didn't know him before knowing him as one who gives you power to get wealth is a blessing mm -hmm. the blessing of the Lord the blessing of knowing the Lord mm -hmm. and because I know him I begin to speak in agreement with him I begin to agree with him and the things he said mm -hmm. when he said it's his will he would that I prosper above all things mm -hmm. because I know him now in that way I'm gonna start saying it's his will that I prosper above all things when you know that it's his will that the blessing of the Lord makes you rich then you begin to agree with him yes. the Holy Ghost by saying the blessing of the Lord 
makes me rich we know what a blessing is right if you bless somebody you're using words you're speaking a declaration over them yes well the blessing of the lord remember god blessed adam and eve back in the beginning he blessed them mm -hmm. made them rich you were made to be rich say i was made to be rich, I was made to be rich. so my number one job in knowing the holy ghost that he is god in the earth today is speaking in agreement with his word and his word is prosperity the blessing that he said is prosperity when he blessed them he made them rich they were made to be rich i was made to be rich if you can get anything out of this message tonight say i was made to be rich that's who i am that's what i am when i'm with the holy ghost me and holy ghost the reason i'm speaking in agreement with his words concerning prosperity and wealth is because i was made to be rich i was made to think rich thoughts speak rich words do rich things yes. that's who i am that's who he is if i walk with him i'm going to be walking the way he walks talking the way he walks looking the way he looks mm -hmm. acting the way he acts his word is prosperity the blessing of the lord the saying of the lord makes me Amen. the saying over the saying over and over the saying over and over mm -hmm. <laughs> makes me i'm saying what the word says and when i'm saying the word specifically concerning prosperity it's that saying that makes me it's that blessing the speaking over that makes me deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 17 and he's saying what not to say so don't say in your heart my power and the might of my hand has gotten me this wealth don't say say not that it is your own hands and your own power that got you wealth but what saith it verse 18 but thou shalt remember thou shalt say it's the lord my god it is he that gives me power to get wealth mm -hmm. say it is god, it is god. That, gives that gives me power, power. To, get to get wealth, wealth. say not my own hands my own power my own ability mm -hmm. but i'm saying say i'm saying, I'm saying that it's god's power god's ability is giving me power to get wealth yes. saying is god's power to get wealth and you can see that in this verse of scripture get the blinders off your eyes say it is god that gives me he said say not my hands mm -hmm. but say god gives me power to get wealth mm -hmm. say god gives me power to get wealth say god gives me power to get wealth and when you're in the saying is the power why because the power is in his word god embeds his power in his word mm -hmm. that's how the blessing made them rich thou shalt say it's god that gives you power to get wealth that he may establish mm -hmm. you shall say that he may establish what you in the power to get wealth obviously into wealth mm -hmm. all right saying it establishes it in your life deuteronomy 8 18 on your lips is prosperity deuteronomy 8 18 on your lips is prosperity if you don't know that yet you haven't said it enough because it is prosperity it's god's words bringing themselves to pass own it you were created for this and some of you can hear it and sense it right now say i, I 
was created for this it's a higher class of believer a higher class of being you know there is a lower class middle class and there's a higher class this is the highest class because it comes from him who is the highest those who learn to worship the Holy Ghost and walk with him by saying words shall be established in this highest of all classes God gifts me power to get wealth say that God, God gifts me, gifts me power, power to get wealth what class does that put you in the highest, the highest class and when this is over we're gonna end up owning it all Holy Ghost we thank you that you are moving upon people right now bringing them up training them to be in this army of the higher class people and we shall walk forth in the earth in the highest of the high class where you are able to represent yourself and manifest yourself among the people even among our family among our friends and among the nations we give you all the glory and the praise in jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost. i worship you I worship you. you are a god, are god. Of, wealth of wealth and abundance i thank you that right now abundance and wealth is coming into my life into my situations and i worship you in jesus name your God in the earth today. The Father is in heaven, Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today.